Afternoon all. And I've got a couple of items of post here, so it's post bag time. And uh, this one is a PC holder. Haven't ordered one of those, so let's see what it really is. Oh, that's come very quickly. Now these are little 12 volt fans on a bit of bent metal. So it's a sort of small heat sink. Yeah, that rotates. And I thought these would make good um, LED mounts. So there's a little bit of heat sink there, a 12 volt fan. Um, but they were only a pound each. That's why I bought them. So I've plugged it into my 12 volt supply. And there it is. Wearing away. Well, it spins reasonably fast, and there's a reasonable amount of airflow there. So I think that would be quite good for keeping LEDs cool. Now, I'm not sure what these springy things are, but they'll come out easily enough, and that looks like an M3 mounting hole, so it's quite a convenient um, form factor. But it's the price that really uh, intrigued me, or persuaded me to buy them. So here's the item, and uh, it is a 2-pin 50mm DC 12 volt VGA card cooler heatsink fan cool. Uh, 99p free postage from Synody. And uh, this would fit a variety of LEDs. This is typical 10 watt LED would fit on there. Have to drill some holes and uh, probably tap them. I'll take the fan off in a minute and see how close it gets to the metal. Uh, that cob LED fits nicely on there. Another cob LED. Yeah, I like that. And I see how this springy thing works now. You pull that back and then you could trap that around a bit of metal plate like that. So that works. Alternatively, you can just remove it and uh, use a conventional nut and bolt and as I say that looks like about M3 so that looks quite convenient. Let's take these three screws out now. So here's the uh, little 12 volt DC brushless fan just on a bit of plastic. Mm, it's got reasonable speed to it and then once that's removed you've got the uh, heat sink with the screws and these little tapped holes here. So, yeah, I like these. I like these a lot. Okay, this one is uh, signed Fang Wei Wei, and I happen to know that's Banggood. And it is a cell phone charger. So, pretty certain that it's a power bank, really, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a mobile power bank. So, yeah, it's a nice uh, two-cell bright red mobile power bank thought I'd get red this time and you also get uh, a micro USB cable there not sure whether that's a two wire or a four wire just yet uh, if I press the button it's showing me that it's three out of four full that's good and then you don't double click to put the torch on perhaps you hold it oh yeah oh it takes a long time doesn't it and the little light comes on and I presume hold the button in to turn it off. Good! Now the shiny front thing looks a bit scratched. I wonder if there's a cover thing that I can take off. Which I don't think there is. In fact the whole shiny thing starting to come off. Perhaps I won't do that. Although I do intend to destroy this uh, before this video is out because I really want to see what batteries it's got in it. It has got batteries, it's quite heavy. So this is one of Banggood's uh, top sellers. It's 31% uh, off. It's only £4.65. So let's uh, have a look at that. Oh, the Banggood website's pretty slow, isn't it? Okay, so £4.65. There is a little bit of postage, but typically it's uh, not much. Um, oh, there's no seller for this, is it? Because it's Banggood. So it put up a little bit of a fight, but uh, frankly not much. So there's a little daughterboard, the strip with the four LEDs. 
that flash the uh, percentage charge level. Now on the board you've got all the usual suspects, a microcontroller, um, 8205 uh, battery protection IC, another one on the other side, DW01, which does the logic of the battery protection, an inductor there, uh, yeah, you can just see the windings of that, USB out, and that has uh, the four resistor Apple style network to indicate two amps I suppose. Now it seems that it's quite clever actually. If I press the button, we've got 5 volts coming out. But if I wait a little while, that shuts off. So it, uh, if it detects that there's no current being drawn, it shuts down. That's quite intelligent. So let's switch it back on. 5 volts, what if I plug the charger cable in? So it immediately shuts off, but it is charging because we can see the four LEDs flash three times and then it shows roughly how far it's charged, but nothing comes out. So it doesn't have pass through mode as they call it. But what about these cells? I'm going to have to cut this open, aren't I? It's no good. Let's see what you get for your four pounds. Well, they're unmarked. Uh, there's the negative strip coming up the side, which is spot welded onto the two uh, bottom negative connections. And positive is linked across with another bit of tab there. Now, these cells are not giving away what they are. Now, according to Banggood, this is a 5600 milliamp hour mobile power bank which means that each cell would be what 2800 milliamp hour do we believe that also is this specified at 3.7 volts or at 5 volts i guess it would be 3. Point, uh, oh no it might be 5 volts anyway i think i'm gonna have to measure them well now i haven't completely destroyed this yet and i've got a feeling this might actually go back together yeah that's pretty good, and then I can stick the uh, sticker back on it. Where's the sticker? Here's the sticker. Oh, it's stuck to something. One minute. So there it is, back together. So I think I might try... Uh, oh, look, there's me. I might try testing the capacity of this one using a charger doctor that has uh, milliamp hours on the display. Now, it needs to be a charger doctor that will retain the information even when the power bank finally stops providing power. But I think I'll try uh, that approach for this particular power bank. Now this is quite good. You don't have to switch the thing on in order for it to start supplying power. You just plug something in and it kind of just powers up. There's the charger doctor with power. I think that's quite good, isn't it? And again, as I say, it powers itself down when it sees that there's nothing connected. I quite like this power bank. Now, what does my Nexus 7 make of it? Well, with the supplied cable, it's saying charging AC, and the unit is providing only 0.21 amps. Uh, the voltage is holding up reasonably well. Let's try it with a different cable. And with the Nexus 7's supplied cable, it's charging AC again. Uh, and we've got a bit more amps, about Point four, or point four five. It's not the, the one amp uh, that this thing says it can supply. On the back it says output DC five volts one amp, but I guess it's charging. So there it is, a two cell mobile power bank that's supplied with the two cells for four pounds sixty five. Uh, yes, I've bought uh, lithium cells from China again, which I said I wasn't going to do, but I don't feel too bad because they're kind of uh, encapsulated in this reasonably tough plastic device. And so that is today's post bag.